welcome to orthopedic classes today i am going to talk about fractures of upper limb from below the elbow so that means and part of the elbow also because i am going to talk about fracture head of the radius fracture olecranon fracture both bones of the forearm and distal fractures distal both bone forearm fractures so let us go to the elbow fractures to start with i think we had a class about supracondylar fractures in children as well as adults there's other elbow fractures which involve the individual parts of the elbow joint like so we'll talk about that now first is lateral condylar fracture take like this humerus only lateral condyl gets broken like this peculiarity about this fracture is this particular fragment not only gets separated from the main fragment and then gets rotated like this and be seen somewhere here a fracture which is there completely gets rotated upwards and gets displaced this is very often missed especially if it is not completely displaced as i am dealing with only basics in elbow i am not going to give you the classifications and all that but mainly this is a lateral condylar fracture which sometimes may mimic it occurs mainly in children and sometimes in adults also so this in this fracture what are the signs and symptoms patient usually gives history of fall on outstretched hand followed by pain and swelling of the elbow we look at carefully because it's an intraarticular fracture sometimes the swelling may be seen inside the joint because of little bit of hematosis into the joint it is very difficult to make out clinically where exactly the fracture has taken place so very often we call it as supracondylar fracture and send for an x-ray and then in the x-ray we make out this lateral condylar fracture here as i already mentioned the main things are pain swelling tenderness restriction of the movements of the elbow joint so how do we diagnose or confirm it by taking an x-ray you will be able to make out this particular type of problem especially with the advent of or availability of ct scan because in the elbow or any other joint particularly we require exact anatomical reduction of the fracture and then fixation properly so naturally wherever the facility is available in a fracture lateral condyle you have got to send the patient for a ct scan to have a proper three dimensional view to plan surgery now x ray will show you where the fracture is and what is that you have got to do for treatment it was just undisplaced posterior slab for about 4 to 5 weeks will be sufficient if it is displaced you have got to do internal fixation that is we call it as o r i f open reduction and internal fixation what we do is usually a screw should be sufficient to fix that sometime in little elderly people you may require two screws so usually the screw should be at right angles to the fracture line this will give a better protection and if the patient is adult or sometimes little elderly people probably this screw fixation may not be sufficient then of late special type of dynamic compression plates are there or interlocking plates also are available in interlocking plate the plate will be there shaped into this one there is a fracture here the plate will be there like this with holes we fix it up by using this one across like this and again like this here especially for osteoporotic fracture this very important this is known as locking compression plate this is especially useful for elderly patient where there is lot of osteoporosis 